Welcome back to another day of 31 days of Halloween here on my channel. Today we are going to turn ourselves into the Queen of Hearts. As always, we have to start off by dancing and singing and acting a fool. And I'm going to go ahead and put down a pore filling primer from NYX. This is just going to help to make us look more flawless, more one dimensional I guess is a good term. I don't know. I'm going to go in with a very pale foundation and build this up and I'm also going to carry this down to my neck. I only like doing that because I like having a layer of foundation underneath the body paint. It just helps it go on a little smoother. So I'm going to build this up and be sure to white out my lips. Once I'm done, I'm going to apply some white concealer under my eyes and blend all of that out. Then just to make sure everything's not sticky, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with a pure white powder I found in the Halloween section at my Walmart. And once that's done, I went on a hunt for the perfect cool gray contour shade. I found mine in the Subculture palette from Anastasia. And I'm just going to go ahead and contour my cheeks and my temples. But I also go ahead and contour my nose and I make sure to bring it up into my brow bone a little more than I normally would. Instead of highlighter today, I'm going to go in with this very, very pink blush from Wet n Wild and a more rounded brush. And I'm just going to create very pink, very flushed, over dramatic cheeks. And I also put this on the tip of my nose and a little bit in the center of my forehead. Bringing in the Queen of Hearts from the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland, I'm going to take a very bright blue eyeshadow and I'm just going to create a very column-like shape, like a fan shape, I guess, on the center of my lid. And I'm going to take that clear up to my eyebrow and I go ahead and smear a little bit underneath my eye just to create a little flick of color down there. I don't know. And then I go in with my finger to just really pack it on and make it very, very, very blue. I also went ahead and put on my eyebrows and I tie lined my eyes with white eyeliner to make them look more big and creepy. For the body paint, I'm going to use Mayron Paradise paints and I'm just taking the white and I'm going to start at the base of my neck and go all the way up to my jaw. I'm going to paint my entire neck white. It's easier to put black over white than it is to do white over black. If that makes any sense. Now taking the black Maron paint, I'm going to go in and create vertical lines down my neck. And once that's done, I'm going to go through and make horizontal lines to create the line for checkerboard. I wanted to do a black and white checkerboard design because in the original cartoon Alice in Wonderland there is a black and white like little trail that she can follow if we remember remember the weird dog with the brush like the broom face was erasing it yeah it was black and white that's why I decided to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way across my neck and create square shapes and y'all don't know how long this took once I'm done with that though, I'm going to go in and paint every other square black. This took for freaking ever, just so you know.
so once uh, I was done with this, not only did I realize that my background, you could see the edge of my background and the beginning of my wall, sorry, sorry, but I wanted to create like a smudged, messy black line at the base of my neck just to kind of show where I was going to start to be erased, like in the cartoon. Does that make any sense? For my lips, I went with Tim Burton again and created a red heart shape on my lips, which is why we whited them completely out. You could obviously do this with just a regular red lipstick, but I had my body paints out, so I went ahead and just used those with a very small pointed brush. After that was done, I decided I wanted a little red rhinestone on my cupid's bow, so I went ahead and decided if that's where I wanted to place it, and while I was thinking on it, I went ahead and did a very heavy coat of mascara just on my top lashes, really just because I have blonde eyelashes and you couldn't even see them before, but whenever I get done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and use some lash glue and glue that rhinestone down on my cupid's bow. We're going to take off my cat ears and mess up my hair a little bit and do my creepy little poses. How do we think? How do we think? <laughs> what do we think? Do we like this? How did I do? Let me know down below and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye!